Haile Selassie are the first. Yami Bolo's earliest musical influence was church music. He began performing at age 11. He got his big chance when he hooked up with Sugar Minot and his youth promotion organization. Minot was impressed by Bolo's sincerity and eventually allowed him to record special promotions for traveling DJs. None of the many tracks he recorded with Minot was ever released. His Rastafarian-inspired music is listened to around the world, particularly in reggae niche markets like Japan, Australia, Britain, France, USA, and Germany. As an ambassador for reggae, Yami Bolo conducted Rastafari cultural studies at world-renowned universities like SUNY in New York State and MIT in Cambridge, Massachusetts. My name is Rast Dennis and I urge you to stay tuned to this channel for more reggae gifs, facts, and culture.